And I was really, you know, quite pleased with that. I just was, it really touched me to know that it meant something to him, you know, because I didn't have a lot of money to buy, you know, fancy presents for the kids, but I tried to give them something that they can use. And it's hard for adults because, you know, kids nowadays have so many things and the latest gadgets and all that. And, heaven forbid you try to buy them music, there's no way. Mm -hmm. I don't even know what kind of music is popular anymore. I don't even know what kind of music I like because <laughs> I just don't do that anymore. You know, I don't go to the record store. Record store. I actually, I got a record player this last year. Wow. And uh, that's been a whole adventure is I go to the record yeah. store and yeah. I try to find albums that I've never heard of before mm -hmm. or that I like the artwork and I've wow. just... Yeah, I've been. That's cool. My mind has been opened up so much because there's so much music out there that I didn't, I didn't I know. even know exists. I know, and see, I got rid of all mine when I had moved and I used to live over in Selwood, and I was in that same little house for 17 and a half years. You know, and uh, my first husband and I split up, and after um, you know a few years, I decided to move while I met my current husband. And, we needed a place that had a garage to, as a car back. And so we decided to look into this area. And uh, so I did a garage sale because I knew I was going to be leaving that house pretty soon. So I went through a series of letting go of a lot of possessions, a lot of things, and cleaning out. And it's amazing how much stuff that you accumulate after that long in one place. <laughs> I was really glad that I was able to start fresh in a new location. And I have a little studio that used to be in the backyard, but now that's my husband's man cave. We traded, and I have the basement. Mm -hmm. But I have twice as much room. So I'm actually able to do larger pieces. That's I great. could not have done this in my other studio, because the whole place was not much, about the size of this little room here, probably narrower. You know, it was like 9 by 12, and I think this is 10 by 10 or something like that. So, you know, it just, there wasn't room by the time I had all my furniture in there, and my table, you know, every, it just it was very tight. I couldn't hardly turn around. And so it's been a dream of mine that uh, to have a space big enough where I can stand back and look at the piece, you know, like t nine or ten feet away, and I can do that now. Mm -hmm. I can look back at that and see it. And uh, that's, that's really important to getting the final look of the piece is to be able to stand back and see it from, from far away. Because the viewer is not going to be looking at it, you know, right up close. Right. They're going to be looking at it from across the room. And you want to be able to have the impact from that far away, mm -hmm. you know. So. Do you strive for uh, photorealism or? Um, a little. I, I, there's part of me that's a stickler for detail and it wants it to be exact mm -hmm. and you know perfectionism that wants it to be like the picture but I also recognize and realize that it's not a photo it is a painting mm -hmm. and so I like to you know add in a little bit of texture or you know painterliness brush strokes and so forth I mean I just think the painting is so much richer than just a photo mm -hmm. Although I really love photos, I you know my dad is a guy who is retired. And he takes a lot of photographs. And in fact, there's three pictures on my wall in here, which you can look at later, that were done from photos that he took. Okay. Because they were better than the photos that I would have taken. <laughs> he just has an eye, and I realized years later that I think it's from him that I get my eye of what composition and what beauty is. You know, and I always thought it was from my mom, but I, I realize it's my mom I, who I get my um, stick to itness. What's the word? Perseverance. You know, that's where I get that from. Uh, my mother's very, you know, steadfast and uh, doesn't give up, and she's very disciplined. And I think I get, you know, that part of myself from her, as well as the ability to use my hands. You know, work the hand and the eye. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the, the coordination of where you put your hand and where your eye wants it to go. Because that's half the battle. You know, most people know what they want to draw, but they can't make their hand do it. Right. And that's what I've been doing my whole life is practicing, you know. So now when I put my hand somewhere, it goes where I want it to. Mm -hmm. And then I just I just do it. You know, it just, it just comes natural now. But deciding what to draw or, you know, how to crop it, that's, I get that from my dad. And, uh. Mom makes quilts, hmm. you know, so that's her thing. And Dad does his website, 
It's lewisriver.com. Mm -hmm. And uh, takes beautiful, beautiful photos. And uh, that's about it. <laughs> hey, I don't know what else to say. Um, so I'm going to show off. These are prints of some of your work, uh, your turtles. Mm -hmm. This is much smaller hmm. than the actual piece. Yeah, these are just some greeting cards. These are five by sevens that I did. But they are amazing. Yeah, and then this is a commission that I did for my dad. It's it's the lilac garden up in Woodland, Washington. And he took the photo and then I did it from the photo that he took. Awesome. And, uh, yeah, that's, and it's, that one's on his website too, I think. Yeah. Um, I asked you earlier, uh, you don't show in galleries. Well, I have a couple of things in the gallery in Hood River called the Columbia Center for the Arts or Columbia Art Gallery. Um, and I just have been too busy as an excuse, but I just don't make time to go and approach galleries. And I know I should go to First Thursday and all those things, but I just don't. I guess I just don't want to bad enough. You know? <laughs> so I have shows here, I've had shows in with different art organizations, churches, you know, things like that, schools, mm -hmm. you know, little group shows. I've done a lot of those. And during the recession, you know, I did some shows at Christmas bazaars and things and didn't sell anything. It was just so frustrating. I was just so tired of, you know, schlepping around all the art and doing all the promotion and printing up all the postcards and doing all that work and then having nothing to sell. And it just got really frustrating. And so I decided that I'm just going <laughs> to keep it myself. Some of the pieces I just hang on to, you know, and I don't want to give them away. I mean, I've got a lot of money tied up in frames, you know. And that's a difference I think most artists don't frame their work. But I do. I think it makes a difference. Makes a yeah. makes a very big difference. Yeah, and they're all custom framed. I mean, I, I'm kind of a stickler for quality frames. Mm -hmm. I don't want the cheapo ones. Right. I want the good ones. I used to work in a frame shop, mm -hmm. and I have a guy that does my frames for me, and he's really good. And um, you know, just yeah, I'm kind of funny that way. I just I'm I like what I like, mm -hmm. and not everyone likes what I like. Well, that's so, gonna yeah. Have... yeah. It's going to be that way no matter what yeah. you do. Um, so you well, just have to please yourself. You can't please everyone. Right. I, uh, I pair the interviews that I do oh. with a gallery that I have oh, um, okay. in my home. Oh, okay, cool. And on March 27th mm -hmm. is the third gallery. Uh, but the artists that I interview in March will be invited to come show... I think April 24th is okay. the fourth Friday okay. of uh, April. Okay. And all of the artists that I interview mm -hmm. are invited to come to my home, uh, set up art on one of the walls. Nice. Uh, well, that's really sweet of you. <laughs> there's free booze and free food, and uh, we paint on the wall. And, wow. That's uh, a happening. Yeah, it's a, it's a <laughs> lot of fun. Yeah. Um, there's going to be live music there. Um, Do you so play an instrument? I don't. <laughs> I, I play the stereo or or the CD player. That's about it. Record know, player. I can, <laughs> I can push the button, and I, I know how to use a little bit of the smartphone, just enough to, you know, download a tune and listen to it. And that's mm. about it. Yeah, I, I've never done music, and I love it, and I admire people that. Do it so yeah. that's why I figured I'd stick to art. We'll definitely let yeah. the people that do it well do it, yeah. And I love that. We'll definitely have some really good musicians, okay. good. Um, and I guess the, the last thing is uh, I've asked all of the artists if there's something small uh, that they wouldn't mind donating. Uh, mm -hmm. We do a raffle, yeah. and any of the, the guests that come in they can donate five dollars or more okay. uh, to the Art Life video blog and the. the gallery okay. and then they have a chance to win the piece that's of oh, any of the, the art well if you like one of these little pieces here yeah cards or one of these and these are ones like you know 
I think I've got them priced at 15, you know, to cover the cost of the, uh, you know, the paper and the ink and everything. You know how it is with ink, it's yeah. expensive. But anyway, these are in a plastic thing here to open it. But then these just have envelopes with them. So they're actual cards that someone can uh, send cool. to somebody. You know, that, those are kind of fun. Or any of the greeting cards. Those usually I sell those for about $4. They, uh, there's a whole bunch of different ones. You just have to dig through and find the one you like. Definitely. Yeah. Um, these two pieces up there behind the rack, those are also done in that same, from that same trip I did. Oh yeah? The one below is fossil, and the one above that is another piece of the John Day rock formations. <laughs> I'm gonna grab this and I'm just gonna kinda pan around the room. Okay. Some still lives over here. And then this is, uh, a mixed media. You were telling me a little bit about that. Acrylic with uh, water-based uh, uh, dispersion pigment. You know, it's made by Golden Company. They call it Proceed. That's their professional name for their stuff. And then it has some embossed metal foil and things on it. And we got your big piece over here, and, and then that's some. That's got more... a lot of texture on it too. I added some of this glass bead texture. It's one of the things that you use on walls, oh, but I painted over it so you don't see it sparkling through there. Hmm. You know, I just wanted to give it more, more touch. Right. And it's got some of the other thick stuff on it. <laughs> some more still lives over here, <clears throat> and then paintings. These are the greeting cards she was saying. It's got bunches of greeting cards. I have little collages. I have cars. You know, I do sometimes go to car shows with my husband, and so I have pictures of my embroidery and you know, all kinds of stuff. Well, do you have any last comments, questions? Mm -hmm. No, not really. No. Just, no, just make sure you write that date down. So I don't I will. I sure will. Um, thank and, you, everybody, yeah, for tuning in. Thank you, Carolyn. You're welcome. Because you have a lovely home, thanks. and it's been a pleasure. All right. You too. And is this, am I get a copy of this? Um, I can give you a copy. That would be awesome. Of course. Put it on Facebook or something. Or um, on a blog. I don't know. Whatever. Would it be okay if I did? Yeah. Oh, sniff it. It doesn't have to be the whole thing. I, uh, for sure, I will put this on my blog mm -hmm. and uh, on my Facebook Okay. Uh, and you can get it from there, or I can give you a copy after I great. download it. That'd be great. All right. I'm trying to do that more of that social networking, and it's still... It's tough. <laughs> it's tough for me. And this I would... is why I don't have time to go to galleries, because I'm always <laughs> spending time in the office trying to learn stuff that you never had to know. Learning is very important, though. Well, of course, but you didn't used to have to know all that stuff. <laughs> so it just... And you had to know how to draw, but there's so much more to it. Mm -hmm. So, all right. Well, all right. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. Adios. This is the Art Life Video Blog, and we'll see you tomorrow.